I rise in support of the rule to bring up to the House concurrent resolution number nine, denouncing the horrors of socialism. Young people in America are being brainwashed by the news media and academia into believing that socialism is an economic model for the greater good of all Americans. And the problem is that they are falling for it, they're believing it. It is a real plight. I can't uh, go two minutes watching CNN without hearing about how great socialism is and how we should convert instantly as a country to socialism. New York Times front page, just constant socialist propaganda. Uh, no, that's nonsense, but it is also what you should expect going forward from the Republican Party. They might campaign on, oh, there's these forgotten silenced conservatives. They've been left behind by the elites on the coast. So. Here's a vague condemnation of a global ideology. That'll put food on your table and it'll give you dental insurance. It'll help you retire with dignity, but that's what they're doing. Uh, Maria Elvira Salazar is the sponsor of it and had more to say about the resolution. Almost 40% of Gen Z and millennials think the communist manifesto written by Karl Marx, the father of Marxism, is a better defense of freedom and equality than the Declaration of Independence written by Thomas Jefferson, one of the creators of the American experiment, the American exceptionality. Worse yet, in a recent poll that shows that 40% of Americans of all ages, not only the youth, 40% believe that socialism is good, while 33% of them say that they are likely to support a member of the Democratic Socialist of America. The organization that has shaped the ideology of many of our colleagues with the poison of neo-Marxism. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot there. Um, not a lot of research, a lot of knowledge, but there's a lot that was said. Uh, so we're gonna get into some of the ridiculous components of this. Uh, but first, we should jump forward to uh, the fact that tons of people voted for it. So take a look at this, it got 328 votes, which means it wasn't just Republicans, in fact, it was Many, many Democrats, 109 of them, which is more than the number that voted no at 86. 14 voted present, very, very bold. Uh, all 219 Republicans voted in favor. The surprising thing perhaps is that amongst uh, yes voters, you have Mary Paltola, Richie Torres, Ruben Gallego, and Representative Ro Khanna. That one is pretty shocking. <laughs> what am I gonna do with these people? All right, so uh, number one. Uh, in my lifetime, maybe it happened and I missed it, but I covered the news every day. I've never seen a single American politician or a single member of the mainstream media ever define socialism. We always just talk about socialism. And in this resolution, they mention like North Korea and, and Mao and all this stuff. And then they say socialism in all its forms. Wait a minute, Sweden is socialist, Denmark is socialist. Is Denmark and North Korea the same thing? Why are we having this like literally insane conversation without defining anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I, it's, it's, it's crazy, I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, do you mean communism or do you mean socialism? They don't know. They, don't, they, they and have no idea what either of those things right. are or the differences between them. But, but honestly, the Republicans are purposely obfuscating. They're trying to make it seem like democratic socialists like Bernie Sanders, are the same thing as North Korea. And mainstream media also does it on purpose. That's why Chris Matthews, when Bernie Sanders started winning in the 2020 primaries and had won Iowa, New Hampshire, and Nevada, said if people like Bernie Sanders had won, they would have taken out a lot of people to Central Park and executed them, and I would have been included. Who's they? Who, like, <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? He's comparing Bernie Sanders to Stalin. These people are lunatics. But that's the mainstream, that's the mainstream. Okay, now we move to the Democrats. What a bunch of losers, total cowards. What are you doing voting yes to this resolution? They're terrified. They are, they're being so attacked. scared, they're so scared. You know what guys, well played, because you know one thing voters really like is cowards. Oh, They love them. When you show incredible weakness, they're like, I can't wait to vote for this guy, okay. No, you losers, why don't you get up and make do a speech about what are you talking about? What do you mean by socialism morons, <laughs> okay? So, and then finally, although it definitely won't be final, I'll have more to say. Uh, 
<laughs> um, she start, cites all these stats. Oh my God, 40% of the young think that uh, the Communist Manifesto is great. Holy cow, 40% of the whole country thinks socialism is pretty good and maybe better than capitalism. Did it ever occur to you that if socialism as e is as evil as you think it is, that maybe people are really, really dissatisfied with the current system? That's why they're saying that it's 40, you think socialism is the same as Mao and Stalin murdering tens of millions of people, right? And you think 40% of the country thinks that's better than the current system. And instead of fixing the current system, you're doing nonsense votes like this that don't affect anyone's life and are just complete political theater. Well played, Max. Now, these kinds of votes are, are the Republicans bread and butter. I mean, it beats governing. And like to your point, when we talk about these things, these Republicans say with such concern that you know 40% of Americans are down on capitalism. Do they ever stop and wonder why? It's because you know we lived through 2008. We've lived through jobs that don't pay a living wage. We've lived through economic crises that have robbed working people of their dignity again and again and again. And instead of even attempting to make any changes that may make this a more equitable system, they pass resolutions like this that compare 40% of America to Joseph Stalin. These are the people who got outraged when Hillary Clinton called Trump supporters deplorables. And they're basically calling 40% of the country Stalinist. It's it's a shocking lack of self-awareness. Yeah, 100%. And look, I'm not I'm not blind to again, it's like like you know, Rokana is just he's he's worried about being criticized as supporting Mao or whatever, whatever stupid thing. Which like you could you could maybe have a conversation if doing this would defend you from that, but it's not going to. All the members of the squad voted against it. And if we can jump ahead just for a moment to the last graphic, here's why. Or that's not the only reason, but it would be a good reason. Uh, Summer Lee uh, tweets, they're gonna call you socialists anyway. And AOC responds, yup, because that is the most obvious thing in the world. <laughs> they're, if, if the Democratic candidate is Pete Buttigieg in 2024, they're gonna call him a communist. That's what they always do because they don't care if it's accurate or not. They don't care about what vote you made. They do stupid things because it works for them. In any event, let's talk a little bit more about what's in the bill. It says socialist ideology necessitates a concentration of power that is time and time again collapsed in a communist regime's totalitarian rule and brutal dictatorships. Oh Well, if it has a concentration of power, we wouldn't want that. That would be such a change from America's egalitarian distribution of wealth. Um, but here's the thing, I'm not trying to convince like a progressive listening to this, that's ridiculous. You know, capitalism concentrates power and wealth, that's literally what it's designed to do. Conservatives supposedly believe that there is an elite cabal of the uber wealthy that control everything in America. They exist under capitalism. <laughs> so what is this thing about concentrations of wealth under socialism? You already say that you believe that's what we have right now under capitalism. I'll never understand it. They go on and they list all the people, Fidel Castro, Paul Pot, exactly the same as Bernie Sanders, obviously. Um, but importantly, and this is what Jenk was alluding to earlier, Congress denounces socialism in all its forms, whatever, we don't care, we're not gonna look them up and opposes the implementation of socialist policies in the United States of America. And so, look, I don't think that this bill passing or not is gonna modify what the Republicans are going to do, which is deregulate corporations and pass tax cuts for the wealthy. That's going to be it. But if you're a conservative who's watching this, like you think that you voted someone in who's gonna have your economic interests at heart. I don't know why you think that, but you apparently think that. Well, they came in and immediately started talking about Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid, which many, many of you rely on. And now they're saying, we're gonna stop socialist policies. And what do you think they mean when they say that? They're not talking about concentration camps, they're talking about anything that would actually benefit you or your family. That has been incredibly clear, I don't know how that hasn't gotten through to you yet. All right, you're forcing me to say 12 other things. All right, number one. You're uh, not obligated. Donald Trump, no I am. <laughs> Donald Trump uh, called Kamala Harris a communist. <laughs> she was a district attorney, she was a cop, okay? She's a communist apparently. Uh, Obama was called a Marxist on Fox News tons of times. Marxist. The guy's a conservative Democrat. He he 
his big giant Obamacare was copied from the Heritage Foundation, a right wing think tank, okay? And that was the most progressive thing he did. But he's a communist. You think they're not gonna call you a communist? Of course they are. Every single one of you is gonna be called that, you idiot Democrats. Look, to defend Roe, we're picking on him because he's such a surprising name on that yeah. list, okay? But all the conservative Democrats, and Roe's a progressive, that's why it's a mistake for him to do that. But for the conservative Democrats, they're probably high fiving, like, oh yeah, well, the voters are now gonna know that I'm not a socialist. Oh, the left sucks. They say I voted against the left. Hey, which side are you on? The left? Oh, okay, moron. <laughs> nice job. Okay, um, by the way, I call myself a democratic capitalist, so I don't call myself a socialist. But yet you defend, see me defending the idea of so socialism in some form here, right? Because it's not all the same form. And guys, what difference does it make? Okay, so look, in the book, Justice is Coming, and it is soon. You can pre-order, link down below. I explain what democratic capitalism is. It's just capitalism checked by democracy, so it doesn't run amok. You need cops on Wall Street like you need cops on Main Street, okay? That's very close to democratic socialism that Bernie Sanders has. You know why? Because it's a mixed economy. Every country has a mixed economy, almost every country. North Korea doesn't, how's that working out? But the rest of us have mixed economies where some is, things are run by the government, some things are run by private industry. I say this with force and passion to try to make up for every idiot mainstream reporter and anchor who has never, ever, ever explained that to their viewers. Okay, and look, why do you think people are so mad? To Max's point, it's not just 2008, it's not just the economic crisis. The walls are closing in. We, uh, for the rich, uh, and Ray Dalio, one of the richest guys in the world explained this. Since about 1980, their wealth has tripled for the top 1%. For the top 10%, it has doubled, okay? For the rest of you, it has been absolutely stagnant. It hasn't moved at all, even though your productivity has gone up by about 100%. So that means you're working literally twice as hard and not making any more money adjusted for inflation than 1980. You know what that is? That's capitalism run amok. It's become corporatism. Corporations have taken over everything and they're squeezing us and squeezing us. And that's what's driving the right wing nuts. They don't know how to fix it, but they're super angry. And now, tons of the left, especially the young, are super angry. Yeah. And what are these idiots in Washington doing? Instead of talking about wages or healthcare or anything, anything that can help the American people, the, oh, I have voted against socialism. Oh, by the way, Social Security has the word social in it. So they're like, oh yeah, oh, remember how dangerous socialism is. We might take the very last thing you have that could give you peace of mind when you retire. Yeah, Because apparently the corporations don't have enough yet. They have 98% of everything and they want 99.9% .9 of everything. And these, and these losers in Congress, almost every one of them is corrupt. They all take money from those same corporations and they're the ones crushing your soul. I take yeah, and I mean, listen to to your point. To your point, especially among younger people who identify as socialists, I've met plenty who have no problem talking about you know the challenges of socialism or talking about the Soviet Union. But I have never once met any of these capitalism at all cost clowns who's willing to even engage the idea that there could be a flaw in capitalism. I mean, it is a religious level of fervor, and I'd like to see that discussion on the floor of the House. Instead of these Democrats validating this Republican fantasy as something legitimate, which is exactly what they just did. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I'm gonna take us out with one more comment, just to like last ditch effort to get through to like poor conservatives who might be watching this. Like I alluded to earlier, how they're coming for those programs that you rely on, and I want to be very clear that we are not just implying that this resolution is designed to announce they're going to get rid of those things. Uh, Representative Mark Takano, who's a Democrat saw an amendment to it to say, okay, we'll say that we're against socialist policies, but I wanna be clear that that doesn't include Medicare and Social Security. And the Republicans voted it down. I don't know how more specific they can get 
They're coming for Medicare and Social Security. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.